Hello, my name is Victor Fung. I'm a neurologist from Sydney, Australia and president of the International Parkinson and Movement Disorder Society. It's my privilege today to say a few words to you about World Movement Disorders Day. MDS is an organisation of over 11,000 clinicians and researchers who are devoted to education and research to help the lives of people with movement disorders. We will hear from six inspirational people who have learned to live with their movement disorders and achieve great things, including someone with Parkinson's disease who is a mountain climber, someone with a movement disorder who actually became a movement disorder specialist themselves. A movement disorder is a condition that affects someone's ability to control their movements properly. People with movement disorders can also develop involuntary movements. This might be movements such as tremor or shaking, chorea, which are twitchy or fidgety or even flinging movements of the arms, body or legs, dystonia, where the parts of the body that someone is trying to control ends up being twisted into an abnormal posture, myoclonus, which are involuntary jerks and spasms, or a combination of any of these, which is typically what occurs in a condition such as cerebral palsy. There are a variety of diseases that can cause movement disorders, ranging from degenerative diseases, which currently often are unable to be cured, although there are often treatments, to autoimmune or infectious diseases, which can be cured. Therefore, it is very important that people with movement disorders have access to a specialist in movement disorders so their condition can be accurately diagnosed in order to guide treatment. Although people with movement disorders often have significant disability, they almost always retain significant abilities as well. And it is important to try to understand what each person with a movement disorder is trying to achieve so that we can actually help them try to reach those goals as part of their treatment. This is part of personalised medicine and care. During my term as president of the MDS over the next couple of years, one of the major goals is to create pathways so that we can better listen to patient and carer voice. I invite you, as part of World Movement Disorders Day, to join us on this journey to better understand the lives of people with movement disorders, so that we can help them make the most of theirs but also our lives.